Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. Let's stretch and massage things that are associated with your carpal tunnel and your wrist with the help of targeted vibration. If you'd like mine, there's a link down in the description, but let's fire yours up. Come on down. Okay, now we're gonna start with the neck. So go ahead and take, you're gonna take your left hand, I'm gonna take my right hand, and we're just gonna go to the side and just stretch that. Now we're gonna get our, our massage gun and we're gonna put it right on the muscles. If you get dizzy or anything like that, boy, this is messing with your proprioception. Your body might get a little dizzy. Just pull it away. You're going to feel fine. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, this feels good. Just a two-minute stretch and something like a 20-second stretch are similar if you have vibration. Vibration makes a big difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring it to about 45 degrees and let's go down in this direction. Keep that thing on there and let your body just relax and tuck that chin. Tuck, 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 tuck it and pull. Let's give it a nice, nice stretch as you pull. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. It's that simple. Don't need a disclaimer for that. So let's go ahead and go to the other side. Take the massage gun in your other hand and get right on that trap and pull your ear to your shoulder. Dive in. Let the shoulders relax and pull, pull, pull. Oh, I like the feel of that. That feels great. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 45 degrees again and just come down here. Pull, tuck that chin. You're gonna feel this from your suboccipitals all the way down, all the way into your thoracic spine, actually. You need your neck to work good if you want your carpal tunnel to work good. I'm not saying it's the cause, I'm saying that they really are interrelated. So let's free up that nerve at its entire length. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some circles. So take your wrist, supinate your wrist, and bring it out to your side. Okay, now we're gonna have the vibration to just help loosen things up, and we're gonna do some forward circles there. Just like that, nice and slow, chest is up, just energetically pull the back of your body, the scapula down towards your butt while your abs are engaged. If you like, you can bring this down a little bit while you're moving it. I like to keep it up just right here. Chest is up, proud posture. Just make that head just almost like your head is just feeling like it's just being pulled straight up. Now go the other direction. Good. We're going to do both sides today. If you feel like you just want to do one side, when I go to the other side, just stay at this side. See, I already feel that. You might feel that bicep just let go, right? That pull on those fingers just doesn't have the tug anymore. So let's go ahead to the other side. Extend the wrist. And then we're going to do some forward circles. You got it. Feel that little tension that median nerve, you're gonna feel it in your fingers, and then you might even feel let it go. You might even feel it just, oh, where is it? Okay, let's go the other direction now. Good, so carpal tunnel syndrome is often associated with poor posture. So we're gonna do some pinching of the, you can actually put your gun down now and just pinch your shoulders back and bring your head back. Then let it relax and curl it forward a little bit and then pinch it back and bring your head back, just like that. Curl it forward, pinch it back. Good, curling it forward, beautiful. Bring it back, oh I love this. Okay, now we're gonna do some median nerve flossing. So bring that hand about right out to your side, not, not perpendicular, with the, not um, parallel with the ground, but bring it down about halfway and extend back that wrist. Extend back that wrist. If you don't feel it, bring it further back and extend it back. And again, we're gonna send that vibration down your arm as we do this median nerve flossing. That feels good. This one, you wanna do about 10 of them. Not too much, you can flare it up a little bit. Good, let's go ahead and do the other side. Extend that wrist, bring that hand back a little bit, and we're just gonna pump that wrist, just like that, just pump it. Good, that feels nice. Maybe it'll free it up, let's do three more. Okay, there's something called pronator Terry syndrome. Basically, your median nerve comes out 
between your, your superficial and your deep pronator teres muscle. And then it goes into your forearm. And it, oftentimes people get what's called pronator teres syndrome. So we're gonna go right on the pronator teres, right here, just below what's called the antecubital fossa right there. And we're just gonna feel that. Oh, that should feel very good. I want you to go deep in there. Get in there and let's free that up. Every bit of that median nerve getting freed up. Oh, I feel a little tension in there. You've been using that mouse a little bit lately? Well, you're using that pronator teres. Okay, let's go to the other side. Oh, that feels good. I love these machines. And this one is so quiet. It's just whisper quiet. I've went through about five different machines to get to this one. I love it. Oh, I'm liking that. It's nice. Give your body a little love. It needs it. You've been working it. People go, oh, it's my bad wrist. No, it's not your bad wrist, it's your great wrist. It just, it gave and gave and gave until it went, I can't give anymore. Now it's time for you to give back. Give back to that wrist. So let's go ahead and do some extension, some actually some, some uh, nerve glide. So we're gonna go like this and extend, okay? So we're gonna go right down here we're gonna open it up and close it up. Open it up, close it up. Just nice nerve glides. Tendon glides, I should say. <laughs> Good. Now fan your fingers out wide and back. Wide and back. Perfect. Wide and back. Feeling good. Let's move it up a little bit higher and down. A little closer to the wrist. Open it up. Open that hand up. Beautiful. Now let's go the other side. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring the arm just straight out in front of you and we're just gonna bend it forward and bring it back. Bend it forward. Good. Really feel that stretch as you bring it forward. Bend it forward. Good, let's do the other side. So we'll do those tendon glides again. Uh, this time, initially with the fingers together and we're gonna glide them and bring them down and open it up and bring it forward. You're doing great. I'm taking care of you. There we go. Now we're gonna fan those hands out. Open them up and down. You'll see in some of my videos, I open my hands like crazy just to, because we close them down so much, we want to open them up. So now bring him, the hand right out in front of you, and we're just going to bring it forward and bring it back. Really flex it forward, feel that muscle stretch as you vibrate it. You can even bring the vibration up towards the elbow as you're flexing the wrist. Beautiful. How's that feeling? These things are great probably the best invention of the last century. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, now let's do the palm of your hand. So let's get right on that palm of the hand. If you've got a higher setting, you can even just go higher setting right on that palm. Oh, that's a winner. Let's go to the other side. Maybe you're working right now. Maybe this is right in between your eight hour day on the computer. That would be a great idea. How about doing this in the middle of your day? These are your tools. You wanna to take care of your tools. Okay, let's put the gun down. Shake it out a little bit. Feeling good. Shaking it out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Now we're gonna stretch the thumb, bring your hand right out towards me, take the other hand underneath it, pull that thumb, and let's stretch it. Oh, what would we be doing without our thumbs? We'd probably be in the jungle. We wouldn't be people. <laughs> oh, let's go ahead and get the other one. 
pull that thumb, chest is up, big breath in. You know, self-care is hands-on, high-quality health care, and that's what you're doing right now. If you want the tool, you can get it at the link below. There's a discount code. Remember, be here, be strong.